Tell me a story, Papa. As you wish. But only one more before bed. Tell me the story about Kalthazar. Again? You must love that story. Well, as you wish, Kalthazar was one of the four kings of the Sky Elves. Powerful was he that stood alone against the Chirals when the others had fallen. Load her onto the boat. She's a fighter. Our dark lady will be pleased. Let me go! Please, stop this! Hush now, girl. You will be all right. You're a perfect gift for our mistress. I'm not so sure about this. Hurry up. She's getting too loud. Look at me. Let me see your eyes. Delos! Help me! Please! You, this is none of your concern. <laughs> so be it. Deal with them. Dump them into the ocean. Are you sure? I'm certain. Wake up. Hey, wake up. That's it. That's it. You're all right. Um, sit up slow. Whoa, 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 not too fast. Not the biggest fan of boats, are you? <laughs> I don't recognize you as one of the other passengers. When did you get on? You don't remember. Strange. Maybe you are still drowsy from sleeping on the ship. Sit up. Take some deep breaths. My name is Enkeloth. What's yours? I think we've arrived. I think the best idea is to head to the commerce office and get your bearings. We've arrived in Torrens Harbor. Head up on deck. It's best if you get moving. The gods don't take kindly to slackers. You look confused, my friend. Are you all right? Your sister was taken. You have my deepest condolences. I don't know much about this strange land, but I am heading to Oak Cross. It's east and a bit north of this port town. Perhaps you can meet me there. Hold up there a moment. You lost this. I figured it belonged to you. How much do you remember? Not much at all, huh? Not too surprised. You were pretty banged up when we found you. You kept saying some men in strange masks took your sister. Do you remember any of that? No. Hmm. Head to the customs office, and then I'd say to ask around about these masked men. Oh, I nearly forgot. One of my men fished this out with you that night. I hope it isn't too damaged. Good luck to you, and welcome to the Isle of Arcade. How are you, Luca? You were waving your hands and screaming off the coast of Caldon. I don't rightly know what you were doing in the water, right? When my boys pulled you aboard, you had fainted. Kept mumbling about... Ah, I don't rightly remember. You seemed quite shaken. So I wasn't just gonna throw you overboard, lad. Ha! 
It's a nice little port town. Most ships coming to Arcadia will land here. Mostly ships from Caldon. The weapon and spice trade sees their best sales here. Ah, my ship. The Rosemary, I call her. I bought her from a drunken sailor back home. Well, I say bought, but truthfully, I won her in a game of cards. The very next day, I was the proud captain of a trade. Farewell. You must be from the ship coming from Caldona. We'll just walk through a few exams before sending you on your way. Your name is Luca, correct? Good. We can't have you confused with anyone else while you're here. And your race is Sorcier, correct? You look like you know your way around a few spells. I thought so. It's not that hard to tell, but we still have to ask. That's all I need from you. Here's a trust sum from the Telgothi family. If you plan on staying here for a while, I'd start looking for work. It could help get your name out there. Your sister is missing? Our records don't show anyone by that name. Well, I am very busy with my own work. If you'd like help, there's a gossip in town called Garaloth. He'd be able to tell you. If you plan on going out on your own, take this. It's a map of the island. Might be helpful if you get lost. Kyra here in town offers training in all sorts of weapons. You might want to speak with her. Hello, Luca. Something I can do for you. Torren's Harbor was built by the Kiral and Northron armies after the fall of Ash Glen in the Second Age. The Wood Elves are still bitter about it, but the Dark Elves have recently begun to move on. Farewell. Need something? I'm Calvin Grammis, the Taxes and Tariffs Collector in Torrance Harbor. This is Torrance Harbor, the southernmost port of Ravon. Hmm. We'll stay alert for her friend. But this is a large isle, and with the raids going on, much of the search will have to be conducted on your own. My advice? Don't give up. She'll turn up. The Jerain Shipping Company's at odds with the Wood Elf raiding group known as the Robana Dram. New in town? West Bay Wares has a small but nice selection of items for sale. The Elfier Inn in bed is a quiet place for a drink, and the owner, Norin, usually has a couple of jobs available. We don't have many residents being a stop-and-go port, but Garaloth, the town laggard, usually has some gossip to share. Farewell. Hello. Garaloth? Yeah, that's me. It's the main shipping port for the Drain Company. I heard that some Cuna cultists have been taking people away in the night. A few Cuna trines can be found all over Acadia. There's one dedicated to Marigoth to the north, near the Great Lake. I don't really know what they worship, but the cultists sometimes sneak into villages and steal the townsfolk. Your sister got taken? You have my condolences, and my help, friend. I'd head to one of the bigger cities and ask around there. Good luck, friend! If you need combat training, Kira could help with that. She lives in the house right next to Salomon's shop. She's pretty. Skill, I mean. I'm an officer of Curl Law. Move along. Welcome to the Elf Ear Inn. How can I help you today? Good food for cheap prices. Nice cold ale, too.
Some members of the Robana Dram are hiding out in the ruins of Salone. Clearing them out will make travel a little safer for all of us. My father built this place 50 years ago, and some of the Dark Elves helped to run it. The name stuck after that. <laughs> Got some regulars here, like Meg. She's one big woman. She claims she's got giant's blood. I think she's just big boned. <laughs> the chiral chapels and the Kunic cults are at odds. Best way to stay alive is to pick a side. Advice? Oh, you're not from around here. Stay on the roads. The farther out in the wild you go, the more dangerous the creatures get. Farewell. I'm Meg, Meg Ernison, but you can call me Meg the Mighty. They call me Meg the Mighty because I'm so strong, but muscles aren't for me, no. I'd rather a soft pair of arms to hold me at night. But these last years, I have become less mighty without my companion, the old ring. It's a nice enough town, but it has bloody history. Perhaps you can help me. Many years ago, when I was a younger girl, I had a sword I called the old ring. Her and I went everywhere together. But we were separated in the cairn of Talstack, and I was never able to find her again. If you could find her, I'd be in your debt. Talstack Cairn will be to the northeast. It was a burial grave for northern heroes in the past. It's southeast of Elden. There used to be a type of elf called the Lordic. Nobody knows what happened to them. So this is Arcadia, much larger than the rooms would have you believe. I plan on travelling it, starting by heading east near the Wanting Town. I wish you the best of luck, friend. From what I've heard you need it. A foul wind took her from you. May a blessed one bring her back. Still here? I plan on heading out rather soon. You're a persistent talker, my friend. <laughs> I hope we meet again soon, and I see you safe. Take this, a lucky keepsake of mine. I think you deserve to have it, at least until you rescue her. And it's not much in the way of defense, but it's better than nothing. Be safe, and farewell. And who are you? Can't you see I'm quite busy here? I'm here on official guild business. What are you doing here? I've been sent to check on this old elven ruin. It may be one of the last places where an ember stone can be found. Maybe you can help me? All you have to do is go into this ruin and find the stone. Exercise caution, however. The ruins denizens might not take kindly to their rest being disturbed. Have you gotten the stone yet? I can't go back empty-handed, you know. Well, get a move on. We don't have all day, my friend.
Carolyn and I have made it to Kalonamora. One of those old elven wells is still twinkling outside of it. What is the Emberstone for anyway? Carolyn thinks it's some conduit for flame magic, but I'm not so sure. What could the elves have unlocked? I'm so stupid for letting her convince me to go alone. I wonder if she'll get worried and try to confine me. Or maybe I'll die alone in here. Have you gotten the stone yet? I can't go back empty-handed, you know. The Ember Stone. You got it! The Guild will be pleased with this. Thank you for your help, Luca. And? You found someone down there. Various. I was stupid to let him go down there by himself. He's dead because of me. <clears throat> Thank you for letting me have some closure. If you find your way to Eastwatch, maybe find me at the Guild Hall? You must be tough if you made it up these hills. I hop mountain tops. I strike over hills like one does over dirt. There is a shrine in the mountains across the valley. You can see it if you sit high enough on these peaks. The higher in the air you find enemies, the tougher they will be against wind and cold. <laughs> like me. You'd like to learn acrobats like a dancer or jumper? There is something you can bring me to prove you are capable enough to survive my training. In these snow-capped mountains, there is a shallow cave. Boreal Wind Cave. It's cold, and there are trolls. Bring me the pelt of the troll, Odenkrite. I will then teach you the secrets of agility and reflex. You must be tough if you made it up these hills. Do you have the pelt? <laughs> no? 
Then I will train you no further. You have the pelt! Perfect. I think this will make a great pair of boots. Warm, comfy, and they'll cushion the feet. You've proven yourself to be a warrior. You look like you got beat up a bit. Good. Now follow, until you exhaust yourself. Run! Run! Now jump! Yeah, just like that. Grab my hand and climb! Tired yet? No. Exhilarated. You're skilled. I will give you that. Come visit me sometime to show me what you've learned and how you've grown. Goodbye, my student. Can I get you something? It's been here since I moved to Oak Cross. I used to work for the old owner, Olaf, so I inherited the inn when he passed. Eastwatch is big, really big. It's easy to get lost, but just remember going south means going down and out of the city. If you're going north near the Red Isle, be careful and stay on the road. And most of all, stay out of Deadland. If the ground is brown and cracked, it's safe to assume it's Deadland. Hot pies and cold ale. One of the regulars has come in asking for help defending a sheep farm. He's an old wood elf usually sits at the corner table. That's all I've got, friend. See you around. Oh, leave an old man to his drink. Ever see a dragon? They say that up in Old Damasi, that big floating island, one of the mages there has one as a pet. Goblins, rats, and other vermin can give you diseases, if you're not careful. Eh? How did you know about that? Eh, Gregor must have told you, yes? It's true. My farm has a problem with a, a break-in. Something has been climbing the fence at night and ripping my sheep apart. Uh, tearing them like a dog tears a slipper. I'm much too old to try and scare it off. Uh, would you help me? My farm is just outside Oak Cross. Uh, you can feel free to stay at the farmhouse for the night. Have you figured out what's killing my sheep yet? Good to see you again, friend. 
I've wanted to see all the cities in Rolvan. Oak Cross is just one of them. It's a bit small, but quite enough to finish my book. <laughs> I suppose I haven't told you much about myself, have I? I'm what they call a wild elf. One of the last of my kind. Many bred with the high elves and faded away. We are blessed with long life and have an innate connection with Myrgoth. I took it upon myself to chronicle all of the lost histories and stories of the Wild Elves of Ralvin before we faded away. I hope to finish it before I pass. Ralvin is full of danger, but also mystery. I would explore it as much as I would beware it. Get to know people. Ask them about their lives and their homes. You never know what you may find. There is something you could help me with, actually. Could you recover something for me? While exploring an elven ruin, Simlenor, I lost my journal escaping from the ruins undead denizens. While I can't ask you to risk your life, that journal has much of my research for my book. I was stupid to panic. Simlenor is by the sea, far southeast of here. Wolf? Impossible. Can't get in through the fence. Bear? Would have heard, and fence would be broken. Thief? Wouldn't hurt his prizes. Rival? Could be. Vampire? No. Lycanthrope? Doesn't exist. Undead? Eh, could be. an old man to his drink. A werewolf? A werewolf was killing my flock? Uh, Gerald, uh, he always was a little too quiet for my liking. I owe you your reward. It's an old family heirloom. An elven bow enchanted by the faces of the moon. If you ever want to share a drink with this old man, <laughs> I'd be happy to. Can I get you something? We've got a vacant room for only 10 gold a night. It's the last door upstairs.
beings. I am Kayla Akar, a Sadran from Alamad. My father is Malik Akar. It is not as warm as Alamad, but it is lovely in the fall. Kunit cults? Hmm. I don't know much about them, but old Trentus Tobias might. He lives here in Oak Cross, in that fenced-in house. Could you do something for me? My father is a sweet man, but he's always been a bit too... curious. He loves old tombs and cairns, and last week he was poking his nose around in the old one outside the city, and he has not returned yet. I'm worried about my father. If you could find him, I'd pay you handsomely if you can bring him back safe. Good morrow. I served in the Foreign Legion back in the day. Fought against the Rashad Caliphate in Amal Makir. Tough life. Glad I was lucky enough to come back here and settle down. It's where I grew up. Good people, quiet life. What do you want to know? The mayor and his daughter live up in that big manse over there. Between you and me, he gets a bad reputation. And Cassia's a sweetheart. Ah, good painter, too. Trantius Tobias lives in that fenced house. He's a bit of a recluse. Kunic cultist, I think. The Akars are fresh faces to me. The boxer, Gilvan? He's a good man. Bit of a drunk, though. Finger Laywood's a simple farmer. Cassius Arboreus is a veteran. Well, the mayor's house is at the top of the hill by the pond. And the inn, you probably saw it coming into town. A few shops sit across the road from the inn. Otherwise, all the farms and houses sit outside of the walls. Joff's Cairn is down south. Old Warlord. He got buried alive by the Kirill soldiers. Cragfoot is up north. Same with the Oracle Cave. One's full of goblins, the other's full of undead. Further south, there's a Kirill Fort. Fort Pass. Keep going and you'll reach the old Oak Cross Arena and the Vardak Ruins. All right. I boxed with Gilvan Serendus here in town. Never have I been put so quickly in my place. He's fast and he hits hard. Thinking about settling down? That Akar girl, she's pretty fine. It's that Southron blood. Strong lady. Her dad's a ponce, though. She'd do anything for her dad. So maybe strike up a friendship with those two. Farewell. Who are you? You're not one of those things, are you? My daughter sent you? I admit, my curiosity gets the best of me sometimes. It's just something you tend to develop with age. Alright, I'll follow you out. But first, I really want to see what's behind that door by the entrance. 
It might be treasure, gold, jewels, or old weapons. Or maybe some old scrolls. I promise to split whatever it is with you if we find it together. He who disturbs Joff the Usurper's undying rest shall expect no peace in the future. Father? Yes, Kate. I'm safe. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried when you didn't return days ago. Thank our friend here. If not for them, I wouldn't have gotten back alive. Thank you, Luca. I'm sure it's very dangerous for the both of you. As promised, here's your reward. You are welcome at our home anytime, Luca. What do you want with me? I'm Trentius Tobias, former Aculcan worshipper and now Cunic scholar. You were sent to look for me. Your sister went missing. You think she was taken by cultists? Mm. That doesn't sound like Aculcan's worshippers to me. They never kidnap. I'm not sure how much help I can be. I gave up that life many years ago. Go to Eastwatch and find a friend of mine. His name is Dorian. He owns Scribe Seminary, a bookstore. Ask him to let you borrow a copy of the Sky Prince's box. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do. I can't help you without that book. Do not rush me.
Nice to meet you. I grew up in a drought in town. They're closer to family than my own people. I'm a Freemason. Stonework, carpentry. I've even tiled some of these roofs, you see. I've been working with my hands for all my days. It's a big city. A bustling one, too. This is the market. If you're looking for work, head up the road to the guilds. Mercenary companies, Bankers Guild, the old Mage's Charter. There's even a... Well... A prostitute's guild. But that doesn't seem to suit you. I like reading, now that I'm retired. And I only shop at Scribe Seminary. Torian's got every book you could ever want. Don't go poking around in those ruins all around the lake. It's rude to disturb the dead, and you'll likely join them. If you try, anyway. Farewell, young man. I'm an officer of Cairo Law. Feel free to sightsee, just stay out of trouble. Hmm? I'm a traveler, just like you. I'm just seeing the sights. How can I help you? It's the big city, and it's easy to get lost. Remember, South is out. I'm Dorian, a sorcier from Farpoint. My mother used to own this place. The East Watch mages are accepting any applicants they can get right now. The Sky Prince's box? Let me see. I might have it somewhere back here. here. May I ask why you need this book? It's rather old, and I'm not sure I should sell it. Trentius Tobias is looking for it? That's a name I haven't thought of in a while. I wonder what he even wants with this anyway. Is he going back to worshipping Akulkan? Oh, your sister. I'm sorry to hear that. Here, take the book. Just make sure to bring it back in Perfect condition. No drinks or food when you're reading it. The paper cannot stain. Luca, I advise you be careful out there. You won't be the only one looking into these matters, I'd assume. What do you want with me? Ah, yes. I knew he would still have it. You see, Dorian and I were both the Culkin cultists long ago. But when he got into some trouble with the law, he gave up that life to open a bookstore. Reading was always a passion. The Sky Elves. The absolute servants of Lady Lorevine. Why would one treat with a Culkin? Veloth, snowing in Elvish. He was an artificer, a skilled one at that. Give me time to think on this. Come back when you've rested a bit in a few days or so. Old Gregor at the Tap and Tack has got some good beds, if you don't mind the smell. Why are you speaking to me? Can I get you something? We've got a vacant room for only 10 gold a night. It's the last door upstairs. You 
You have been prying into matters you should have kept your nose out of. Prepare to meet fates. You won't... Stop the ebb and fall. You're back. What do you need? I've deciphered a little bit of this book, but there are a few things that I'm still unclear about. What? You were attacked? At your bedside? Someone was stalking you then. He mentioned the Ebonfall. Ebonfall? I'm unfamiliar with the name, if I'm being honest. Let me see that book you found. The Heart of Crepuscule. I can't make out any of these symbols, but they're clearly some sort of warding circle. Take it to the East Watch Mages. These symbols might be familiar to them. And Luca, watch your back. I'll be here. I'll keep at this book while you start researching your own. Good luck. The sooner you get that book translated, the sooner we find your sister. You are trespassing the sanctuary of the Mora Coven. What business do you have? We are a coven of witches, but do not be alarmed. We wish you no harm. I am Enya. That is all you need to know, and all I will say. Your sister? Do not stand there and accuse me of matters you do not even understand. Now sit, or be gone. Much like a fortune teller, I can see your actions, past and future, laid out in the spread of the cards. The sun passes in front of the moon. A great leader will fall to your hand. But will it be for peace or chaos? Strength reigns over the devil. Perhaps you... Overcome some difficulty or setback in life. Justice meets judgment. Two sides of the same coin, yet who is correct in their beliefs and who is not? Death arrives for the Emperor, but in what form will death take? A fool spins the wheel of fortune. Will your future be bright or dark? Be gone. Thank <laughs> you. 
finally, in Arcadia. <laughs> the fare here was quite expensive, but I know it will be well worth the Delians. Torrens Harbour is a small, quaint little port town. And the townsfolk are no different. The most they seem to do is go to the tavern for lunch and drinks. I've met another elf named Garaloth. He's a bit of a chatterer, but listens well. This strange man, Luca, was on the same ship as I. He was quiet for the whole trip, sleeping for most of the days. The local shop gave me some provisions for free, because they had a larger shipment than expected. How kind! I shall set off for Oak Cross. I feel so alone in this world. There are no others like me anymore. I've come across a few elven cities. Or their ruins. Wild elf and dark elf cities mostly. Kelona Mora, Sona Nelore, and Mavlona. Oh, how I wish I could have seen them in their glory days. The capital of Simlenor has all but fallen into the sea. A travesty, really. Perhaps there are still some relics that haven't been claimed by the ocean. The Iron Crown, or the Eithel Ring of Queen Alea? One can only hope. Good to see you again, friend. My journal! I was afraid that you would come back empty-handed. Or, way forbid, not at all. And not at all damaged. How splendid. You have done me a great, if not simple, service. Thank you. I consider our debts settled between us. I've helped you, and you've helped me. Perhaps we could... Help each other, if you're ever interested. I was hoping you'd say that, my friend. Let us depart at once.
Who are you? What are you doing here? Hmm. I suppose you're here about the bounty on us. I'll give you an ultimatum. You can leave this place alive and keep your mouth shut, or you can leave in a coffin. A wise choice. Go. Go on. Leave. I noticed your hesitation to fight me when we met in silence. I wonder, was it fear, or did you have other reasons? Despite the fact that I likely would have killed you in battle, I still consider it mercy that you did not instead of fight me. That is why I'm giving you an opportunity. If you truly have no allegiance to the Kyros and the Durain Shipping Company, then I would like to implore you to come to our camp and speak with our leader. Our camp is located in Vardak Meyer. To the southeast. If you choose not to, know that you will be an enemy of the Robana Dram for the rest of your life. Welcome to the Elf Ear Inn. How can I help you today? They're all gone? Good. The Geraine Company will be glad to hear this. Here's your payment. You've made this port a little more safe. Thank you. Welcome to the Elf Ear Inn. How can I help you today? We do have a bed available for only five gold a night. Up the stairs, first door to your left. Enjoy your stay. What is it, Luca? Is something on your mind? I had a dream last night. Did I tell you about it? No, I don't believe so. I had wings, and I soared far above Arcadia, like a hawk. <laughs> it was exhilarating. Do you have any healing potions? We should probably carry a few with us, just in case. <laughs> As you wish, my friend. Welcome to the East Watch Mage's Charter. It 
That's the oldest guild in Ralvan. A school and lodge for those with an interest and gift in magic. The first of the Corral cities. Eastwatch is a hub for merchants, as well as those looking to earn some more money by guildwork. It's not an easy task. You should find Master Gaivin if you truly are interested in signing on. Farewell! Do you have business with me? We are the oldest and most respected of the guilds in Ralvan. However, since this war has started to brew, we have fallen out of favor with the aristocracy lately. This is not the only Mage's Charter in Ralvan, or even Eastwatch. I assume you've probably spotted the large island above the city. That island, Aldermassy, is occupied by another Mage's Guild. You can never know enough about the world around you. Until our next meeting. I hope you're disturbing me for a good reason. I don't partake in much of the pomp and circumstance of the other mages. That's why Gaivin made me bookkeeper. You have a book that you'd like to show me. <laughs> oh, now you've piqued my interest. Hmm, this tome has a very disappointing texture to its cover. Interesting. It appears this book is an old Cunic ritual tome. As intrigued as I am, I won't ask how it came into your possession. It describes a ritual. Transferring the souls of an innocent so the body can be a vessel for the Lady of Dark Flames. The Lady of Dark Flame? Perhaps they mean the Ebon Woman? She's an important figure in elven mythology, especially for House Telgothy. That's about all I can tell you. Your pale look is frightening me. Are you alright? Your sister. You worry she might have been taken for the ritual? In that case, take this to House Telgothy immediately. Their sea is in Blackmark, the home of Triumvirate. May Maragoth and Loravine be on your side, Luca. Is the search going well? It is to the north, the seat of the Elven Triumvirate. Huh. <laughs> yes. Until next time, I suppose. Do you have business with me? You are interested in joining up. I would be happy to have another join our ranks. Our charter follows a few simple rules, as do all guilds you may plan to join. You are responsible for your safety, as well as the safety of your fellow mages while practicing magic. As such, accidents are taken seriously. Do not try and evoke a spell out of your skill level. Your possessions are your own as are those of your peers. This is an academy. Petty rivalries are not tolerated. If you are still interested, your first task will be demonstrating that you have a gift for magic to me. When you are ready, head downstairs and stand on the stage in the East Wing. For this demonstration, I want you to use an evocation spell to damage the target you see on the stage with you. Evocation magic includes any spells that summon the elements to your command.
If you can demonstrate a base grasp of magical ability, I will grant you the rank of apprentice. Quite the display, I must admit. I'm impressed. Apprentice Luca, you are an honored addition to our charter. I give you these robes and this staff. May they serve you well. As an apprentice, you will take all of your jobs through Sage, my assistant. I'd also advise that you get to know your peers. Grand Alchemist Whaler can provide any potions you may need. And Battle Mage Mina can provide tomes and staves. Welcome to the Charter. organizing Master Guyvin's tomes. The guild is currently headed by Master Guyvin, but it's had 517 other masters during its time in Ralvin. I'm Master Guyvin's assistant. A lot of others think that I'm much too young for this job, but Master Guyvin says I do all right. One day, I hope to be the Archmaster. Sometimes, dust storms will come through Acadia from the north. It's best to try to get where you need to be fast so you do not contract dust lung. Oh yes, the new apprentice. We haven't been formally introduced yet. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Sage, Master Guyvin's apprentice and warlock here at the university. Master Guyvin is a very busy man, so I'm the one responsible for giving all the apprentices their tasks. I hope you don't mind. The first thing you'll have to do is create a staff. Your apprentice's staff is more of a badge, less of a practical tool. Once you do that, return to me and I'll help with the enchantments. That'll be the fun part. There's a grove of trees north of the city. Look for the old elven font. You know you are in the right place if it's there. What is it, Luca? Is something on your mind? I was born a few hundred years ago. 809 of the Third Age. I lived in Caldona for most of my life. I visited Halwind and Farpoint for a few years and received my degree as a scholar at Verleroy. I only recently was travelling to Arcadia, on the Roseberry. And fates would have it, we met on that trip here. <laughs> As you wish, my friend.
Hello again, Luca. I haven't heard much as of late, besides the rumor of unrest and war. If you need work, I'm sure Sage has a job for you. Hello. I'm just organizing Master Guyvin's tomes. You have the unfinished staff. Let me see it. You chose a good one. Not too heavy, not too light. This will be perfect to work with. I can imbue the staff with a few different enchantments. First, do you wish to have the power to cast fire, frost, or lightning? All right, lightning it is. Now, do you wish to have the staff increase your faith or your will? Faith will give you the knowledge of how to utilize your spells to increase their potency against foes. Will. Will will allow you to tap into your spell's ability to ward off other spells and increase your defense against magic. <laughs> will, Will. You will be an excellent battle mage. I'm sure Mino will like you. All finished. I will take you back to your apprentice staff now. May this new staff serve you well. Now, I know Master Guyvin would like to speak to you about your studies. Be sure to see him as soon as possible. Hello again, Luca. Ah, yes, I did want to speak with you. I see that Sage has finished your staff. She did well. But if you are enrolled here, there is more to do than simply fetching things for us. As a student here, your studies are of high importance. It's imperative that you fully understand the magic that you are casting. We don't want an ill-made spell bringing the roof down on our heads now, do we? But since we can't keep tabs on you every moment of the day, we will assign you a study partner that we think best suits your abilities and needs, and vice versa. Sage and I have decided that another lower classman, Albia of Mayrest, will be your partner. She is a quick learner, however quite shy. I think your quiet demeanor will mesh nicely with hers. You two are to accompany each other on your studies, in the field and in-house, and protect each other if need be. Go, speak with her, get to know her a bit, and when you're ready, come back to me and I will send you on your first assignment. prestigious organization of mages, witches, and warlocks. Many think that the Elven Stones were the life source of Elven cities. That's why there are so many ruins of them around. Not many of the stones still exist to this day. Partners? What do you mean? I nearly forgot it was time to find out who our study partners were this semester. You and I. Ah, oh, interesting. I hope I don't get too much in the way. My spellcrafting isn't very good. Oh, I'm rambling. I should come with you, shouldn't I? Uh, we don't want to miss our first assignment. Hello. I'm the commander of the East Watch Guards. I've protected the city for five years now. Sounds like there is some trouble near Ocross recently. One of their woodsman guards tried to arrest a former lieutenant of the Robana Dram. Fight ensued, but no one got hurt, luckily. Abide by the law. Always report criminal activity. Be a smart citizen. Have a good day.
You're back. What do you need? So you got it translated. Good. I'm making some headway myself. So you're headed to Blackmark. Be warned. The elves there are embroiled in some sort of governmental gang war. I've deciphered quite a bit about the Sky Prince's box. The Sky Prince was Veloth. That much is common knowledge. He was the last of the race known as the Sky Elves. Veloth was a rival of a Culkin, and after many years of trying to outwit each other, Veloth seized a victory by creating a box that the god couldn't open. The important part is what was in the box. He had created a mask that would turn whoever wore it invisible, even from the Kuna themselves. That's why the cultists likely wear the masks, a twisted representation of Veloth's trickery. From what I've gathered from the book, I can assume where the cultists are dwelling. Veloth constructed a fortress across the Drossil Channel called Cal Balder. I can only guess that the cultists would be there. But if they are there, they may be invisible to you. You'll need a mask of your own to enter. For that, you'll need a Culkin on your side. Go to a Culkin shrine and ask about Veloth. Perhaps you can convince him to give you his mask. His shrine is due west of Torrens Harbor. Be wary. The Culkin is intelligent, but not below being conniving. Interesting. The plate will rise if we step off of it. Wait, here? A are you sure? It could be a little dangerous. Oh, all right. If you're sure. Goodness, I was getting worried. A phantom? Uh, be careful. I've read about them in my studies. If a powerful mage falls while casting a spell, their body is absorbed into the spell. They still are powerful sorcerers, though. Be on your guard.
interesting. The plate will rise if we step off of it. Wait, here? Uh, are you sure? It could be a little dangerous. Oh, all right, if you're sure. Getting worried. By way, it's endless. Intriguing. Maybe there is some sort of clue around here somewhere? Huh. Must not have been anything. What's a cell room anyway? Password. <laughs> claiming to be from Verleroy, entered the chamber of Masethel. Despite his frightening air, I thought nothing of it. He took Masethel, like all students have. But when he turned to leave, he conjured undead with a simple wave of his wand. I was not strong enough to take them all without grievous injury. I do not know who he is, or what his plans with the artifact are. But whoever reads this, uh, take my words to Gyvan of Eastwatch, or Alorain of Beerleroy, quickly, your loyal servant, Aragard of Eastwatch. Where's the artifact? Isn't it supposed to be here? What's that on the wall over there? <laughs> Is that blood? Once you read this and turn around, you will 
die. Luca? What is it? What is there to say? I'm a creature of the night. A disastrous night. Now I kill my kind during the night. And I feel no regrets for it. Ah, you've heard of us. We're a small group. But we keep the world clean from those blood-sucking monsters. Ah, you've heard of us. We're a small group. But we keep the world clean from those blood-sucking monsters. Heard of Ravenmark Castle? It's an old chiral fort taken over by an ancient clan of vampires. The Volte clan. Now that's something I'd like to see. Destroyed. If you get bit, go to the chapel. They can cure you of your blood disease. You'd like to join us? <laughs> I'm not sure you've got it in you. We're killers, and we hold no remorse for it. Are you certain you could join our ranks? Then your job will be as a murderer. A slayer of vampires everywhere. And then you will carve out their hearts. And bring them to me. I will pay you for each heart. And I will pay a great amount for noble-born hearts. I will also give to you this ring. It was my sister's before she was slain. By the same vampire that turned me. Take it. It will keep your flesh safe from their blood-tainting disease. Now go. And bring back the rewards of your hunt. Hello again, Luca. You've returned. Neither of you look worse for wear. The artifact, if you would. Actually, Master Gaivin, it wasn't there. Excuse me? The artifact. It was missing. Hmm. Perhaps one of the teachers neglected to return it when they were finished. What's this? A journal? isn't good. I'll have to look into this matter. Thank you, students. Take these potions as a reward. While I'm studying this further, make sure to keep up with your studies, and check with Sage to see if she has any assignments. Yes, Master!
Meg McGernison, but you can call me Meg the Mighty. You found it? Did you at least kill the giant too? <laughs> Still perfect. Thank you for this. I missed her. I promised you a reward, so here you go. You need a hand? Sure, I'd be happy to tag along. Just take me back here if you want to get rid of me. Yes, Luca? My mother was a sorcerer, and my father was a chiral. I know that's the reason I struggle a bit more with spells than others. I had hoped that going to college would help me grow my magical abilities. I just feel... outclassed. I keep telling myself that if someone as young as Sage can be Gaivin's apprentice, I can do a few simple spells. I was told that a 15-year-old girl would never amount to anything compared to the adults. Well, here I am. I'm hungry. I could go for one of Emmett's cherry pies. We could purchase a few tomes to learn more spells if we need to. I grew up in Mayrest with mixed parentage. Stunted my mana a little bit, but my father always said not to let it bother me. I tried enrolling at Verleroy University, but I couldn't show quite the promise they were looking for. That's when a friend of mine told me about the academy here in Alcadia. I set sail as soon as I could, but even wealthy parents couldn't buy the gifts I needed to go very far. Hopefully, I can do the rest myself. Oh, all right, back to work. Do you have business with the Master of Mechanations? He is the Artificer, the Delver, the Gear Master. His knowledge is supreme, but subtle. You are here on personal business with the Lord, Trentius Tobias, the Kaiwu bastard. If you must speak with the Kulkin on his behalf, be my guest. But do not expect a Kulkin to take it lightly. A Kulkin, unlike other Kuna, has no allegiance to men or Mia. You wish to treat with a Kulkin? It will be no easy task. Leave an offering of an Elysium stone at the shrine. 